rose quartz fascinating gemstone to talk about so rose quartz is part of the largest gemstone family lots of the gemstones fall into family groups for example beryl is emerald and aquamarine and emerald is your green and aquamarine is your blue and morganite is your pink and the same thing happens with the quartz family so clear quartz is a colorless or white quartz that you've then got amethyst which is your purple quartz Rose quartz is your pink quartz and citrine is your yellow and smoky quartz is a kind of smoky colour. There are other family members. It's the largest family of gemstones. So clear quartz is a silicate. It has no impurities and therefore it is just a clear. It might pick up other inclusions along the way that are trapped within the material, but actually its general body colour is going to be clear. However, if there is iron present as the gemstones are growing, then actually the gemstone will become yellow in colour and that will be citrine. So just iron present and it has to be the right temperature, the right pressure within the earth as the quartz is growing, it will become citrine. Now add a little bit of natural irradiation, then suddenly you're going to actually end up with amethyst. So you can get amethyst, which is iron and irradiation. So these elements that are present, they're called trace elements, they will colour the gemstone in different ways and it, it makes it completely different material and we trade name them dependent on their colour. Now rose quartz is a little bit different to all of its brothers and sisters. So rose quartz is actually coloured by tiny, tiny impurities within the gemstone. So little tiny inclusions, another mineral is present which gives it that overall pink body colour. So although it is part of the quartz family, it has a very different makeup to its brothers and sisters. So the conditions within the earth are really crucial to what type of quartz is created. Rose quartz is really good for carving. So you'll see lots of different carvings in the marketplace using rose quartz. Uh, it doesn't have any directional properties, which could mean it breaks easily while they're cutting it. Because of that interlocking internal structure, it means that generally it's quite strong throughout. It also has a nice uniform color, which means they can get consistency on the carving. So it's the perfect gemstone to carve into something really unusual. Rose quartz looks very different to the other quartz family members when you pick it up in its rough form. So this is the rose quartz and you can see it has no particular shape, but actually the quartz crystal has a very specific shape. When you study gemology, you learn about the different shapes of the different crystals and how to identify them in their natural state. This is the quartz crystal, and you can see there are many identifying features of quartz, but one of the things we'll look for is that when we look down the C-axis, which is the main axis, you'll see it has a hexagonal outline. On top of that, it also has some further identifying features, which can be striations that go horizontally across the C-axis, and other little tips that help us identify this as quartz. When it comes to rose quartz, you can see that it doesn't have those identifying features. The only thing about it is that it's a large piece with no specific shape. And in the world of gemology, we call that a massive form. So the massive form means that actually inside here, there are millions of interlocking crystals that probably do look a lot like that, but under a microscope at very high magnification. This actually means that rose quartz is a really tough material because you can imagine all of those little interlocking crystals together make it a really, really strong. If you're a jewellery maker, that can be really useful to know because it means the material is quite tough. So if you're looking for a gemstone, maybe to do something quite difficult, a difficult technique where you're going to apply a lot of pressure to the gemstone, then this is a great one to start with. If you're new to jewellery making and say you're attempting at something like bezel setting, this is perfect to start with because it's less likely to break than some of the other gemstones. When considering the value of your rose quartz, then think of the depth of colour. The colour is going to be the majority of the value. This is a very pink piece of rose quartz. It comes from Madagascar, a nice deep colour, very saturated, nice and uniform. It can come from a very, very pale colour, which can hardly be seen when it's beaded or carved right through to this beautiful deep colour. And you will pay more the deeper the rose quartz colour gets.